What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a long awaited and much requested video. We are talking about an updated meta video, right? So if you are a newcomer to eFootball and to Dream Team, this video is going to kind of open your eyes to how top ranked players are playing. If you are coming up against guys that are just completely dominating you, this is kind of how they're playing the game, right? We will also be doing an anti-meta version of this video as well to coincide with it and to go against it, the yin to its yang. But for now, we are focusing on the meta. We will break it down after these couple of clips right here just to kind of give you a visual of it right so when we talk about meta in a video game it's basically doing what works in the game what the game mechanics reward every game is designed in a certain way some things work some things are overpowered some things you know don't really go rewarded right i think that possession play doesn't really go rewarded in this unless you are really good at the game and you are comfortable in possession but you can see here with this example of this attack that the guy is going to score within two minutes of the game right look how central his players are his ai are on tune with his uh, attack he's got Cruyff cutting in cutting in from the wing he's got three attackers going to be running into the box and a fourth coming in with Cruyff he's got his defensive dmf back anchoring if anything breaks down in attack the game practically scores for him here uh, with the AI runs. I mean, they're just superb. It's a brilliant finish. Now, I would break this down, right, the meta into five key things, okay? We've got a central focus. It's all about one-touch play. Three strikers and three centre-backs set up, as you can see here. You can see the, the, the highlighted players here. You've got Vieira and Mataus that are going to be having a central focus. You've got Vieira as your DMF as an anchor. That's not an anchor man. I will do a play style and playing style uh, player breakdown as well of what the different play styles mean and how they react on the pitch. I am working on that. I think I've six videos done with a couple more to do, but we will be kind of like bashing those out. But it's all about ignoring the wings, ignoring the width unless you're manually doing that. You do not want your AI running into the wings, right? So when we take a look at a couple of the top ranked players in the world, we've got a fifth in the world player. And you again, you will see a couple of variations to this, but it'll always go back to a three-man midfield with one anchor, one central box to box, and then a kind of a you know a really good attacking midfielder and your three strikers. If they've got a flat four at the back, such as this guy, that's not really um, too much to be concerned about because usually you'll either play a flat four or else you play a three-man center back, a three-man center midfield, and a three-man up front. Right? This is the eighth in the world squad here. And as I said, all you're going to be doing here is adjusting it to how you want to play, right? I think that the meta at the moment is very overpowered, and you will hear a lot of that, you know, in videos that I watch when I talk about people playing meta. It's all about one-touch pass and central play. The minute you get the ball in these areas, look, it's like pass, take a touch, pass, pass, take a touch, take a touch, pass, and then shoot. You're not wasting any time in the ball. You're not playing any position. When you turn over to the ball as well, it's all about touch and go, first time shots, and all that sort of stuff. And that's why you will see even the sixth in the world player here. Um, he's going to be playing a very central spine as well. So you, again, you've got rinse and repeat. You've got Casemiro in. You've got absolute um, beastly Cruyff up front. You've got Me Messi and Neymar that are going to be kind of like floating around with Cruyff. You're going to be running forward with Pedri. Again, you've got the same one, third in the world. You've got Rummenegi, Mbappe, and Messi with Neymar. I mean, you're practically a 4-2-4 here with Vieira and Mataus doing all the grunt work in the middle of the pitch, right? So again, you've got your three center back, your three center forward, your three center midfield. And then I would say that uh, Puyol is going to be your kind of free player to do what you want with him, defensively or attacking. But look, you do are you are going to do a lot of central play. It's all about, you know, supporting the runner. It's all about the AI making the runs for you. Now, skill will come into it a little bit. Obviously, these guys that are playing at this, you know, high level, like the top 50, top 500 in the world, are extraordinary at the game, right? But it is about stacking the deck in your favor with the AI. If you can control and you can get your AI playing in a consistent way, you will have, you know, beaten the game really because that's the biggest challenge with this game is how to control your AI. Because look, you can only control, no matter how good you are on the sticks, you can only control one player at any given time when you're running with the ball, when you're defending, when you're dribbling. The teammate press is very automated and I get that. But if your teammate press and your teammate movement, your AI movement isn't locked in, you are going to struggle, right? So you do need to stack the deck if you are playing meta. Now, if we're setting up a squad, right, there are a couple of other bits and pieces that you could do as well, right? If this video is not kind of uh, simplified enough, let me know. I tried to simplify it as much as possible, um, but if you are struggling, go back and check out a couple of my other videos where I cover a lot of these individual stuff I'm talking about as we, you know, 
position Goretzka here and we're going to show you how we actually play him we're going to be covering every blade of grass Foden is going to be supporting the three strikers that's his main role he's not going to be staying out wide or anything like that his main role is just to sit in the pocket there and then Hakimi is going to be your winger effectively he's going to be your wing back he's going to be your wide option all the time and of course you can switch him to left back and Rudiger over and shift the line over if you want Hakimi as a right back but it's all about getting it to these three boys lads that's what the big goal here here is in quick counter now we also do have tactical instructions and individual instructions right i have done videos on this before and broken down exactly what they all mean so for this we are going to turn rodri defensive that just means that rodri is going to join um the attacks less often and he's just going to stay defensively we're also going to put target man or counter target on one of our strikers i would probably put it either on Haaland or cristiano uh because mbappe will just naturally kind of have that engine and the speed to get back but you want cristiano ronaldo and Haaland. the minute you get that ball you want a striker you want an option up there right so that's all about just the player doesn't track back when they have counter target now on top of that right we can also go slightly less meta but still stay within the meta with a sub tactic so sub tactic basically gives you a brand new formation and a brand new tactic within the same system without having to go into your pause menu and do it manually so you can set this up by clicking on use sub tactic again i have a video on this if you're new to the channel or if you're new to all these sub tactics and what i'm saying is confusing just have a quick search in my channel and you will find all of this stuff broken down right so what we're going to do here is we're going to set our team up very similar we're going to keep our three center back but we're going to move Mbappe out wide now I would probably recommend this if you're going up you know a goal or two um, and you're playing against a good opponent and you just want to change tact and you just want to kind of keep possession a little bit more you know if you're manually going to keep the ball a little bit more I'm not saying pass it around the back I'm not saying you know to take the pace or anything like that but what I mean to say is that you are going to be a lot more solid across the middle of the pitch and have options out wide you're going to practically play with a three-man center back two center forwards and then a f uh, middle five where Rodri is going to go back as kind of like a fourth man CB because we're going to play anchor or we're going to play deep line on him or else we're going to do man marking in game you have to do man marking in game you can't do it before the match because you need to manually pick which player you want him to man mark from the opposition's team so Rodri is going to be either deep line or man marking that means he'll get back as like a, a third or fourth center back or else a center back sweeper so when we go up here lads right we're going to see how central we're going to play right it's all about getting cutting him through the heart of defense right it's all about turning him over in possession it's all about doing those things that put him under serious pressure watch this for a clip this is quick counter and you know meta gameplay all rolled into two clips right this one with mbappe and this one this guy is just trying to find a way through he's trying to find his feet in the game six minutes on the clock i've pressed up hugely hugely fast um, or very fast i should say and very aggressively we're going to get the ball in here he makes a big mistake we're going to do a nice bit of dribbling with zico ball's going to cut inside we're going to switch it in take a shot messi's there and it's game over because that was a golden goal one so as i said let's just to recap i have gone through this video quite quickly but this is the meta as you see here right you can see that with the red out wide you're going to largely ignore that area of the pitch you're not going to be suited if you use the wings with this formation because you're not going to be set up to use it with the AI runs, okay? And as I said, a lot of people make the mistake of overcomplicating what they want to do. They want to have this formation because it's the meta, but they also want to play dribble, skillful football out in the, way, out in the wing, right? And they're doing it with Mataus, they're doing it with Romanegi manually, and it doesn't work. So, center play, one-touch play, three strikers, three center backs, DMF as your anchor, and I don't mean anchor man, I mean that your DMF is going to anchor everything. Your every attack, every defender, every defend, defensive uh, maneuver should be run through your, your central of midfield and uh, keep it as narrow as you possibly can. Yes, there is exceptions to the rule. You can, of course, always you know, spray it out wide if you've got a player picking up that position. But if you've your team set up like this, the AI won't go out wide. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Let me know what you thought of this video if you enjoyed it. I will be doing an anti-meta up uh, video up quite soon, and it's a very, very good one. I think the anti-meta really works against the current meta, and I do also think that V2.5 is going to make a huge change to a lot of what works at the moment. But until then, we will talk to you later. Peace.